good morning everyone welcome back to my channel today we are starting our day with a soothing sound of rain and is softly setting the tone for a peaceful morning there is something magical about the sound of rain in the early morning it's like nature's way of reminding us to slow down and enjoy the simple moments this is the moment you can almost feel the world waking up gently without the rush of everyday life and the village itself is still quiet with only the sound of rain and the occasional chirping of birds. It hasn't rained much so the drum isn't full. Even though we have water, we still tap rain water for quick usage. It's always a beautiful morning here, no matter the weather. I like referring to this space as our little park where we just come and relax briefly and enjoy the whistling of these trees. So I decided to walk in the rain as it is a unique experience. The air feels fresher and there's a certain serenity that you don't get on sunny days. You know, the rain breathes new life into everything. It touches the flowers and leaves, which were tiny droplets like jewels, and the puddles just create perfect mirrors of the world above. And not forgetting the greenery looks even more vibrant. Even on a rainy day, the village still comes to life, so I came to the roadside to see how it is. As always, this is my best part of the day. If you watched my previous video, guys, thank you so much. And this is where I say that it gives me joy to feed our chicken. So we give our chickens the remains of ugali that sticks around the sufuria and some leftover food. And I get to divide the food this way because the big ones are sometimes rough to the small chicks. But I enjoy watching them do their best to get a share. These are the joys of being in the village. It's sad that these chicks are now decreasing. In total, there were eight. Two just died, another disappeared mysteriously, and the fourth one was hunted down by a hawk. So I'm not happy about this because I was looking forward to see them mature. This cow of ours is super friendly, and whenever I come to check on them, it comes closer perhaps to say hello. We must be having a good connection. Our chill spot is flooded with a bit of water, so I want to sweep it away. And in the process, just use the water to clean this space. The rain seems not to be over and here it is raining again so I want to enjoy my breakfast as I watch it rain.
Today we are going to cook matumbo, but first I want to wash them. It's very important to clean them thoroughly because lots of that tend to stick inside the stomach lining uh, in that part which looks like a towel. I know most people don't like dealing with the process of matumbo because of the smell. I also didn't like it, but I'm not getting used to it because I have to do it. So I ensure that I clean and rinse it very, very well. Matumbo is a swahili word of a cow's stomach lining, so it can be for any farm animal such as goats and sheep, but um, many people prefer the cow. Matumbo in English is known as tripe, a word that is little known to many. I'm now chopping the matumbo into small pieces, then place them on the fire to cook. Sometimes I just boil them whole after washing them, then chop them into pieces. But this is also an easier method because once you're done, that's it. I've lit the fire so I'll wait for the charcoal to get hot then proceed with the cooking. As we wait for the fire to be ready, we'll continue peeling these green bananas because it's part of the dish that I'll be making today. They're those that I will boil and fry some. In case it's your first time being here, welcome to my channel and kindly don't forget to subscribe. For the returning subscriber, I always say it's a pleasure having you. Thank you so much guys for your support. Our fire is ready, though the charcoal is lighting quite slowly. So now I'm putting the matumbo in the pan, then adding onions and tomatoes. I'll also add salt, turmeric and paprika because these are the only ingredients I have at the moment. I'll now let it cook. I'm glad that the sun is out and the day looks much warmer and brighter. I'm sprinkling some salt on the banana peels, then giving them to our animals. Meanwhile, let's check on our matumbo. It's really cooked well. Look at that. Guys, remember I did not add any oil because once it cooks, it produces its own oil. So avoid adding any when you're cooking matumbo. I'm chopping these bananas into small pieces. Then add salt, turmeric, just for color, and paprika spice. You can add any spice of your choice. Then mix all the ingredients well. After that, put them in hot oil and let them fry till golden brown. 
I saw this dish being prepared by one of the YouTuber and I've decided to try it out though her accompaniment was a little bit different Now that I've realized they love salt, I want to trick them into grazing some grass which has overgrown here. There's this grass over here which has overgrown and our cow is not eating. So what I want to do is mix salt in water and then come and sprinkle here and see if they're going to eat. You can see how much they are eating now. They are having good appetite because I've just sprinkled water which has salt in it. Thank you for joining me on this rainy and sunny day in the village. I hope you found it as relaxing and enjoyable as I did. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more moments like this. Until next time, take care and enjoy little things. Guys, look at this.